The topic that we have today for discussion is students resource and career management. Respected brothers and sisters, it is a very important aspect that we would like to touch upon in the next couple of minutes for a student to understand how to draw a road map for his life or for her life. Before we continue, we have to understand what does a resource mean. There are a number of resources available at the disposal of a student. We have narrowed down to four different types of resources and I'll try my best to briefly highlight upon those. Number one, the ultimate resource for a parent, the ultimate resource for a student are his family. The next resource we have available are the teachers. The third resource are their friends. And finally, in this day of electronic age and social media, we also have a new resource, which is the resource of the World Wide Web or the Internet world. So let us expand on these different branches individually and discuss briefly on how it impacts the lives of students. Number one, family resource. If a student would like to contemplate and look around his surroundings, whether they are going with their family or whether they are by themselves, they will see that there are lots and lots of young children, whether they are being forced in that industry or not. Regardless, they are yearning to have a wonderful family. They are out on the streets requesting, perhaps even begging, to get some kind of bread and butter for themselves and for their family. The fact that a family comprises of a father, of a mother, and perhaps one brother and one sister, and then probably on an average we may have more than one brother and one sister. That is the definition of a family. However, if you stop for a moment from a student's point of view, many a times student are not very much satisfied with their families. They say either their father is not up to their standard or maybe their mother is not up to their standard or their brother and sister, they may not be up to their standard. And we have to understand that the creator of this universe never questioned, never asked any person when he decided that he was going to form a family. In order for us to understand the significance and importance of a family, the creator and sustainer of this universe has revealed in the glorious Quran the wonderful teachings of Islam. And it highlights in numerous places the ihsan, the quality and the standard of a parent. And especially immediately after worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Isra, it starts off. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه Immediately, if you look at this fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه Do not worship anything else except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And immediately after that, he did not mention perform salah, establish salah, give zakah, salm, no what is the next immediate order by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because he knows the psyche, the psychiatric formation of a human mind. What is that? Is ihsana And do good to their parents. Honoring the parents. Understanding the reality that how did the individual come in this life. When the child is weak, young, not able to walk, talk not able to comfort themselves, not ever able to cover themselves, what happens to them? Parents help them, guide them, nourish them, give them everything they have got, perhaps even sacrificing to the fact that many a times, how many nights does a mother spend when the child has a fever? Going back and forth, Safa and Marwa probably, many times in the house, taking care of the baby, taking care of the child as the child starts to grow 
older and older, what happens? The independent thinking starts to creep in. The minute the child goes out in this world, this is where the actual fitna starts. He starts to forget that the parents are the essence of a family. And that is where we have to instill the quality, the character of Islam. If we can start teaching our children, and if a student is listening to this wonderful program, I'd like to urge you to please go to Surat Isra. Read the ayah in Arabic, read the translation, and refer to a couple of tafasir and understand the importance and significance. So much so that you may attain a little bit of knowledge that your parent has given to you by giving you admission, whether it is a wonderful school or a college or a university or a madrasa, it doesn't matter. But they are the ones who have taken the effort to give you the education. And perhaps tomorrow, if you get a little bit knowledge more than your parents, never argue with them. So much so that you're not even supposed to say of wala taqul lahuma uffiyu wala tanharhuma. And further it says you have to be kind to them. As a human being, as the person grows older and older, what happens to the individual? The individual gets more hyped up. They get more emotionally stable and eventually that stability goes out of control. They try to feel that, okay, now I'm independent. I can take my own decisions. And this is where the individual can probably go astray from Surat Al-Mustaqeem. So we have to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Anishkur li wali Thank me and always remember to thank your parents. It is extremely, extremely important for us to understand. Therefore, having a wonderful father, a mother, regardless of whatever they know, in comparison to the knowledge that you may have attained at this level, whether you are in 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, or even graduation, never undermine the capability, the quality, and the level of a father and mother. Time is not sufficient for us to expand on the qualities of the parents, but it is very, very important that great children are those who remember the ihsan of their parents, and when they get fantastic education, they earn wonderful earning, they attain a good position in this life, they never ever forget their parents. First, they get a good education to satisfy themselves, get a wonderful family, and then always and always they put their parents first. We have numerous cases, multiple incidents, where students become adults, and those adults have a family and eventually, once they are highly successful, they start to forget the favors that they were bestowed by their parents. So much so that it has become a sad reality of our society that many children are not able to take care of one pair of parent, father and mother. On the other hand, one pair of parent, father and mother are able to take care of multiple children, whether it's one or seven or eight or ten children. So what happens to the child that was so young was always calling mom and dad. Once they grow up, they forget them. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who has created us, is reminding us, never ever forget the favor that he has bestowed upon us. So we always have to remember to have this wonderful feeling that whatever knowledge we are going to gain, we have to give back to our parents in whatever way we can. Let them have the comfort. Let them have the enjoyment that they could not do when they were actually young. They were trying their best to earn a good living just so that they can sacrifice their comfort, their everything for you.